Okay, hello and welcome to our September New Coach Mentorship. Larry and I are super excited to just hang out with you guys for the next four weeks. He's actually upstairs manning um, bed duty. They're supposed to be sleeping by now, but of course they're not, right? So um, he's going to hop in and you know, be able to contribute a little bit at the end. And so we're just so excited to, to do this. We're constantly talking about different ways that we can serve you guys and, you know, help you navigate things a little bit better. We've done different things. We do have the new coach mentorship that is through Thinky Thick, it's called. It's a um, two-week new coach mentorship. And I definitely suggest if you want to, if you have the time to kind of go through that, um, I can, you know, resend you that email that has the link in there and you can do, do that at your own pace. It's just extra information. But if you don't, I'm giving you the permission to just move through this mentorship for the next four weeks. And the goal of this four weeks is to simplify things for you. I know it's overwhelming as a new coach, or if you've been a coach for a while and, you know, even just with the discount and you're like, okay, I want to kind of start this thing, but I don't know where to go, what to do. It can be overwhelming with all of the Facebook groups that you've been added to and, you know, all of the steps of like, where do I, where do I go? What do I do? And some people look at me and what my schedule looks like now, or maybe all the responsibilities I have now, but that's not necessarily what your responsibilities are as a new coach. Of course, this is two years into the business where I have a team and I have all those things. So, you know, we just really want to um, simplify things and give you just a few things. Hi, this is Larry. Uh, a few things to focus on for the next um, <laughs> next month. So we'll do this for four weeks. And what we're going to do is share what your goals are for, obviously you have your own personal goals, which we'll talk through a one-on-one -on -one call at some point throughout this, um, this four weeks. But what your goals as a coach are, if you do desire to earn an income, these are the, the goals that you're going to focus on over this next month. And then we're going to give you an action item at the end of this call that you will complete for the next week's call to make sure that you're taking these things and you're starting to implement them. And there's no secret sauce. So if you take this stuff and you implement it, your business will grow. So we are going to walk you through that. I do want to say thank you too. Thank you so much for choosing. Oh, there's Portia. Thank you so much for choosing this team. There are thousands of teams, literally hundreds of thousands of teams that you could have chosen to be on. And you chose the Radiant Tribe, which I think is just super cool, super special, and still gives me chills. It'll never get old to me. Um, I'm just so blessed to be able to be a part of this opportunity and get to help people, you know, find freedom, number one, through Jesus, but then using health and fitness as that platform and that vehicle to, you know, connect with them is just unbelievable. And I'm super humbled to get to do what it is that we get to do. So I'm excited that you chose our team to do it alongside with us. Okay. So we're going to hop right in because I want to value you guys' time and your night. I am recording this, so I will post it in your accountability group link. So you will have a group chat. So any new coaches that are joining this month, we will put you on. You can tell me whether a Facebook messenger is easier or a text message. You'll have a little thread going if you choose and you want to be a part of it. So you're going to take your action items and every day um, check into that group. And you can share any struggles or wait, how do I say this? How do I talk about this? You know, oh, this person said this. Like, how do I respond? We all hear objections. It's going to happen. You're going to hear people who say, oh, I don't have the time. And thankfully now we have a four day a week program. We can say, oh, yes, you do. Um, or they might say they don't have the money or, you know, they're, they're too busy or they have kids, whatever it is. You know, we have something for everyone. And the goal is to just kind of help you help talk you through some of those conversations that we all, we all have, we all face them. And if you're doing it by yourself, you feel like you're alone. Whereas if you're together in community, as we know, it's just so much better. So you'll be on an accountability thread where we can kind of talk through some of these things together and you can check in daily with your action item for the day. Okay, let's get into it. So your goals for this month, three, just three goals, three goals. Number one is commit to a program, which you all have done. Love that. Okay. All the four girls here. Um, so commit to a program. If you're finished your program, that's what happens. And what we do as coaches, our health and fitness journey is number one. So we're never like not committed to something. So if you're done one program, we'll take a break for weeks, hop right in, know what your next program is going to be. If you need suggestions, feel free to let me know. I know there's hundreds of choices that can be a little bit overwhelming. It's also really super cool, but if you need some help, let me know. So commit to a program, follow the meal plan for that program. 
or follow the to be mindset. It's up to you whether what you want to do. The to be mindset can go with any program. It's literally a lifestyle. Um, but with every program also comes a meal plan that's formulated for that specific workout program. So if it's, you know, shift shop, there's like a higher protein nutrition plan. If it's ADD obsession, it's time. So it goes according to that workout. So figure out what works best for you. It's also the cool thing is we don't all have to do the same thing. We don't all have to promote the same thing. Um, I personally can't drink the, the post-workout because it's whey and I react to dairy. So I'm not going to pretend I'm drinking it. You know, I'm going to find something that works really well for me and get a story with that and promote that. So I, I just talk about Shakeology and performance and different things like that. So don't feel like you have to become this robot that's just promoting any and everything. Figure out what works really well for, for you. Connect with that. And then that's what you share because it's going to be natural. And we're going to talk about that too. Like how to share without feeling like you're being sick. LB and yucky. So commit to a program. The second thing is sharing your journey. We'll talk about that more specifically. So committing, sharing, and the third thing is having three people join you in your accountability group, okay? And that can be my accountability group for as many months as you so please. You can literally be on your journey and just invite people to join you every month. They get the benefit of being a part of the group and seeing lifelong change and you get to earn an income from it. So those are your three goals. Commit to a program, share your journey, have three people join you. So we'll break that down a little bit and I'll share your um, takeaway item at the end. Okay, so there are six core coaching activities that really build the foundation of the beach body as of what it takes to be a beach body coach, basically. Um, so we're gonna go through all six of them, very kind of short. And then we're going to focus on those first two tonight, kind of intro the third one, because that'll be important for the next week. Um, I'm going to pull it up so you can see it. And I'm also going to email it to you. So don't feel like you have to write all of this down. Just kind of pay, like, look at the sheet and then, you know, you'll have it and you can take notes if you want, like additional notes, but it'll be up here for you. Okay. So remember, key theme, do not be overwhelmed. Got that? Thumbs up. Yeah. All right. I have no idea what all this stuff is. Okay. Here we go. So this is called the core activities, and we retyped it up for you. I'm going to zoom in a little. <clears throat> Why? I don't know. It's going to be easier for me to see. No, it's big. Oh, okay. Okay. So number one is use Beachbody products daily and share your journey. I just talked about that, right? That is committing as a coach that you're going to make a commitment to your own health and fitness because how can you share about something that you're not personally doing? That's when it feels yucky. That's when you feel like a salesperson if you're just trying to shove stuff and shove down people's throats. You're not actually living out yourself. So pretty simple. Um, use Beachbody products and share. So you're going to complete fitness program start to finish that's so important i used to i feel like i'm just going to talk long about it too anyway can i add something wait let me finish <laughs> so she's gonna talk i'm not I'm even gonna talk at all she's gonna give me two minutes <laughs> what time is it okay so um what was i saying uh start to finish i used to kind of pride myself and oh i have all these programs access to so i'm gonna do shift shop one day and i'm gonna do t25 then i'm gonna do yoga and all all of that's cool that we have the access to them it's kind of confusing to people that are watching you they're like okay you're doing this this day this this day and then how do i know to attribute my results like what can i say i got my results from <clears throat> but if i'm following a program from start to finish people have the cool opportunity to watch and see your results they see you change and they know okay i can trust lift four because i watched her go through lift four from day one to the end and i see i see the results so i know i can trust that program so it really is about showing that from start to finish using these body nutrition solutions and supplements so we have shakeology which all of you know about life changing um that's a superfood nutrition shake it's not a protein shake our protein shake is our recover which is our pro post workout okay so there is a difference in that people were to ask that so like Shakeology is like a complete nutrition shake. Um, uh, there's a performance line, so pre-workout, post-workout, all of our products are natural. Um, most of them plant-based, no junk in them. That's the only way I can stand behind them. Um, so figuring out, you know, what works best for you. We do have a coach sampler that is um, $75, and you basically get to try everything. All the performance line, daily sunshine, um, you get to try uh, Shakeology, different flavors. You get to try pretty much anything that you would get separately. You get 
in one little bundle. You can try everything. So you can send out packets to people if you want. If they're like, I'm going to try this, you can send that to them. Or you just have that personal experience with it. Um, and you can say you tried it. Even if you don't order every month, you know, I've never, um, I never used to get energized. But now I do because I tried it once and I was like, now I'm addicted. So just try it and, you know, kind of figure out what's best for you works best for you. Share successes with this lifestyle, showing how you've incorporated Beachbody products into it. So that's the important part is being able to not only live it out yourself, but sharing it with people. Social media is beautiful. I usually try to get people and their coaches in their first month to work their business off of social media because we do have our own sphere of influence of people in our warm market, we call it. So that's our friends and our family, people that know us already and love us already and trust us already. Those are the best people to go get first. Number one, hello, it's amazing to be able to have, you know, to get your friends and family healthy, to know that my mom lost 30 pounds and has kept it off in the past two years of me being a coach when she never worked out a day in her life. And now she's like a psycho workout lady. And I'm like, so awesome. Um, so it's incredible to be able to be that person that gets your family and friends healthy, number one. But then um, number two, it's fun to have them in the accountability group with you, right? So it just takes it to that next level. So we'll start kind of with our warm network and the people that we know and it makes it less scary. We're not cold messaging people, which you won't ever do. Don't worry. Um, but it just makes it a little bit more intimate, especially for that first group that you'll run or again, plugging them into my accountability group as well. The way you do this through social media is, um, it used to be five times a day. We used to have to post, and I'm like, who has the time to post five times a day? Like, that's insane. Thankfully, now it's one post a day. You're adding value. It doesn't have to be beach body focused. It can be your life. It can be about missions. It can be about your kids, um, a recipe, healthy living. So incorporating <laughs> something from your life into it. Um, and that's one time a day. And then the rest is through stories. Stories is an incredible way to engage with your audience, kind of that behind the scenes look. People are kind of done with the pretty perfect pictures on feeds. They want to get to know you. And so it's a great opportunity to get to know people and connect with them behind the scenes and show them your life without having to post a billion times a day. So um, that is kind of the gist of that one. And it's also curiosity marketing. So thankfully, the Beachbody lingo talk is not even in anymore. It's curiosity marketing. It's, I've never said the words live for ever in my whole eight weeks. I never say Shakeology. I never say Daily Sunshine or anything else. Um, I use words that draw them in and it describes the program, but they don't know what it is. If, if you give them everything, they're just going to go Google it and purchase it online or from somebody else. Um, so if you create that curiosity and you get them saying, okay, well, what is the superfood shake or what is your pre-workout? Then you're like, aha, let me tell you about it. You have the opportunity to connect with them and go from there. So number one, number two. Are you done? I'm done. <laughs> All right, so I guess you know from I wanted to. Oh, why are you doing this? Just do a little bit. Oh, it'll be all right. All right, so number two is engage in personal and professional development daily. So um, I guess I was going to kind of use this as an example. Like when Patrice first picked up and started doing this business, one of the things that I think we she sort of sort of naturally took on, not even necessarily knowing that this was like a super important part of growing her beach body business is really focusing on engaging in personal professional development daily. So listening, reading, or watching at least 20 minutes of personal professional development is so important. Like I watched her grow so much personally through the first three months of starting up her business because she really took this seriously. So there's a whole lot of content out there regarding Beachbody. She, you know, use YouTube like there was no tomorrow to learn a lot about you know this business but I also know she read a lot of books she did a lot of podcasts like those kinds of things and spending like just 20 minutes every day doing something different like engaging in personal development that was different than some of the just beach body content that you're gonna automatically get from this training and other content that's out there and I think that I think that what was so neat about that is it really helped keep her perspective fresh right? Because you're hearing, you're going to start to hear a lot of different things. And when you kind of go outside that box a little bit, it just really helps you stay engaged, stay motivated, kind of just like continue to look at things differently, even differently than the things that we're 
telling you guys or teaching you guys, and it's just going to help you grow so much more. So, um, and then as a part of that, applying what you're learning into those daily routines and work to develop your full potential. So when you're taking those things, you're really developing your own way of doing things too, right? So you're putting your, you're taking things that you're reading from a book or something different that somebody else is telling you and saying, wow, I can take that and apply it here or there. Um, I kind of want to circle back up real quick to what Patrice mentioned to on number one, when it comes to sharing your journey, because that is really like, that is it. If you're doing that every day, people are really going to, they may not see it right away, but over time, over time, over time, over time, they're going to catch on and they're going to become curious. It's just the way that our human nature is. They're going to become curious about how you're different, why you're different, why you're not just your body's changing, but like, why you're happy, why you're, why you're joyful, why your attitude has changed inside of the way that you're sharing your journey. And so I think that that's something that, you know, even if you don't feel like that's that important to do, I can't tell you like even this far into her beach body journey, that is still the number one thing that you guys probably see her do daily every single day is sharing her journey. Even now my journey, right? Cause I'm on the stories and working out and stuff like that too. So <laughs> it becomes so important to get people engaged and keep people on their toes. So back to um, the last thing is taking responsibility for your choices and the impact they have on your own goals. So we're going to talk a little bit more too at some point during the training about commitment, but um, as it relates to personal professional development, I think that what, what it allows you to do is really kind of take on some of your own responsibility and like apply that to the things that you're doing inside your beach body business that fail too. Because I can tell you right now, the first three, four months, we tried so many different things that didn't work. And that's okay, right? But I think when you're, you, when you're doing professional development and you're working on yourself, it really helps you to just kind of see that those things that might seem like they're failing, you learn from them and you try something new and then you see something that works. But all that comes from like really setting aside time every day to do some things that are slightly different than all the beach body training and content. Like picking up books, you have a ton of recommendations, right? That you have. Um, I just went through well, a lot of your stuff is Christian based. You have specific ones you want to tell them. Yeah. Well, so I mean, if anybody saw my post recently, you're like, wait a minute. Um, <laughs> That's but, why I didn't say anything. <laughs> no, okay. So I do, I want to make sure it's clear. I do absolutely believe in the value that comes from <clears throat> you feeding your brain and growing as people. That's what we're, we should be doing every day. Right. But, um, so I would say that like our quiet time, our devotions, our time with Jesus, that is like a given. That's like what we should do anyway, because our lifeline. Right. So that's, that's that. Um, apart from that, there is a business growth and a personal, in a sense, growth that should be happening as you're getting to know even how Beachbody does things. So a lot of my personal development in the beginning was YouTubing because um, I love my upline, but she had a baby and she was kind of nowhere to be found and there wasn't much, many systems in place. So I had to teach myself. So I went to YouTube and I said, okay, how do you run a challenge group? What is an Emerald coach? How do I earn an income? Like what is Beachbody's in compensation plan? I was hungry. Hungry. By the time I said yes, I was serious. I knew I wanted to help people. I knew that was my calling. And I'm like, how do I do this? Um, so I learned kind of like Beachbody's way for a few months. That's where my personal development came from is learning how these top coaches were doing what they were doing. And so there is definitely an aspect, of course, it's a business. Just like if you were any other job, you'd be getting to know how you're supposed to be doing things. Um, so getting to know how Beachbody does things um, is definitely important. And then when it comes to like this personal development, professional development, um, I, you know, that's up to your discretion. I am reading a couple books right now. They're amazing. It's called Business to the Glory of God by Wayne something with a G. And then Lead, Lead Like Jesus is a really great one that I've heard. I haven't read it yet, but I have ordered it. So those are just a few books that um, I can completely recommend. But there's so many personal development books out there that, you know, do have practical tips to help you grow, you know, as a leader and things like that. So it's up to your discretion and, again, kind of, you know, what you feel you, you need at this time. For me, I just want to make sure that I'm able to take those tips and filter them through God's word. And as long as they line up and they're, you know, I'm able to bring him glory through all of it, then they're okay with me. So we have to actually stop there. So that is one and two. And then 
next week we'll hop into three on um, or maybe even kind of hang out here. So if you have any questions, why don't you go ahead and type them in the chat box and we can talk about those really quick. But I'm gonna give you your, um, your action items for the week. So again, I'm gonna start a chat with you guys and this is where you can, you know, through Facebook Messenger, text, whatever you decide, that's where you're gonna plug in each day. Um, but I did wanna show you, um, your action item is to make a list of a hundred people and you can use this memory jogger to give you an idea for your face <laughs> of a hundred people. It's no big deal at all. I promise you. And this list is just going to be a list that as you people join you, you're just going to keep crossing it off. The statistic is one in 10 people will join you. And our goal, which we'll get to is to have three people join us every month. So that's 30 people that you're going to have to have a conversation with in order to get those three people. And that's okay. Cause guess what? If they say no, most of the time it's just a not right now. They're going to join you now. When I hear no's, I'm like, all right, girl, I'll see you in a few months. Cause they always come back around. Um, but even if it's no, like that's okay. It doesn't hurt our feelings. If we're not emotionally tied to the, to the result, like <laughs> it's not the right time for them and that's okay. You move on. So you're going to make a list of a hundred people. We're not reaching out to these people right now. You're not going to send a mass email begging people to join you and something crazy. It's just going to get your memory going. Your, your, thoughts going of the people that you know that are potential people that you can help get healthy. And that's where we're stopping right now. You don't have to do anything with this list yet. So make a list of your 100 people and then you're gonna do step one and step two. The first two core activities you're gonna do every day. So you're gonna commit to your program, that's the easiest one. And then you're gonna start to share that and you can decide what that looks like, whether that's in your story, kind of sharing a workout um, move or something that you made healthy. You guys all have access to our meal plan. So I made the dinner tonight, I will be sharing that in my stories, you know? And I don't have to say, do you want this recipe? You know, it's just a way to show people what I'm doing. All right. So one, and then number two is your personal development. So read or listen to something until you take something away. All right. Any questions? I don't think I saw anything pop up. I'm going to stop sharing. Um, nothing came up. So send me a message. If you have any questions, that's it for night one. Pretty simple, right? You get to live healthy and then we're going to start kind of talking about it. And that's pretty, it's pretty special. So um, I will get you guys hooked up in your, your link and we will go from there. Sound good? All right. Have a great night. Bye. See you, everybody.